Fortunately, when we got these, pulled these out of the pack, these had already been stripped. So what I'm going to show you how to do is I'll show you how to strip a membrane on the uh, spare rib because it's there. Now, who likes baby backs? Okay. Now, who likes spares? Wow. <laughs> it's almost 50-50. Glad we brought some. <laughs> the first thing I'm going to do on these ribs, I'm going to take just a simple fork and I'm going to actually puncture between each of the ribs. Now I flip the ribs over, I only do it on the back side. Okay. So I'll, I'll lay them down like this, I only do them on the back side. And what this is going to do, it's going to break down some of the membrane. And it's also going to allow me to get a little more flavor in with my mustard and also with my rubs. Okay, so very simple. The next thing I use is standard yellow mustard. Okay, people say, well, why do you use mustard? I use mustard for two reasons. One, it's got a lot of vinegar in it, so A, it's going to tenderize. B, it's going to also hold my rubs onto the... Uh, meat as they dissolve. Okay? I don't slather it on there. I put a light coat across and I work it into the penetrations. So it's basically it's going to look like this. Okay? Notice it's not heavy. It's just slathered. I also do the back side. And here's what I come up with on the rib. Okay, so any, any questions on the mustard? Okay, any questions on the ribs so far? Okay, pretty simple stuff. Okay, now the kinds of rubs I use, all my rubs I've created are mine. They're, every one of these rubs has won some kind of championship or another. Okay, are they on the market? Not yet. I'm getting the UPCs and the labeling done right now. As you can tell, you can look at this rub and you can see that it's a little darker rub. This is a brown sugar and a three pepper type rub. This is basically what I call a this is basically what I call a Memphis type rub because it's a real peppery type. Okay, now when I do put my rubs on, you'll notice that when I put my rubs on, I, I sprinkle it across. I don't coat it heavy with the with the rubs because a rub can dominate the taste of a rib. And I make sure when I do put it on, I like it even. I will rub it. So what I'm trying to do with this, with this rub is, as I smoke the meat, A, the rub's going to dissolve into the meat, plus it's going to form a crust for me. So when I bite into that rib, I'm going to be able to taste a layer. I'm going to taste layers. I'm going to taste a sauce. I'm going to taste a rub. I'm going to also taste the meat in the rib. So. That's about what I'm looking for. Does everybody see? You see, there's not too much. It's coated across, and that's what's going to form my crust. This is actually a condensed version of a six-hour class that I do. Chris, have you mentioned that you're so... Oh, there you go. 